Well, for only the third time in her 70 years on the throne, Britain's Queen Elizabeth today missed the ceremonial opening of the UK Parliament. She did so because of health reasons. Instead, she handed over the duty to her heir, Prince Charles, who delivered her traditional speech laying out the government's policies. It's the most high-profile duty that the 96-year-old monarch has missed in recent months. All right, let's go now to London. Our correspondent, Charlotte Chelson Pill, she joins me now. Charlotte, I mean, this really was history in the making. We watched it on live television today. A, a future king in waiting, filling in for his mother. How did he do? This absolutely was a marker in history, the first time that he has done this. And apparently we weren't the only ones tuning in carefully to see how it went. Apparently the queen herself was tuning in to take a look at how her son was doing in this really key constitutional role. Now, in some sense, Prince Charles has been preparing for a moment just like this his entire life. He has been in waiting for this role. It also has to be pointed out that so much uh, of this event is pomp and pageantry and, and tradition, so many time-honoured uh, things that many outside of the UK, and he, indeed many within the UK, think is often quite bizarre. But there is a lot of structure to this that's pre-prepared. The speech is relatively short and it's written by the government. So this is, wasn't something that Prince Charles prepared himself. So we weren't expecting any real fireworks. Nevertheless, a huge amount of attention here looking at how he was doing, because the Essentially, this is a glimpse into the future for the British public, really, for the mm. first time. Seeing him perform this constitutional role, you really do get the sense now that there is this, this slow, this gradual transition into Prince Charles taking on a much, much more prominent role. You're taking on a more prominent role because his mother's health is not the best. We know that her Platinum Jubilee, that's coming up. Um, do we know how she's doing right now? Yeah, well, this, of course, was another reason for concern. She has had to pull out of a number of events recently, but she has just turned 96 years old to an extent. It is expected that she scales back uh, some of her duties to a certain extent. Now, the reason that was given on this particular occasion from the palace was that she has episodic mobility problems. The palace said she reluctantly decided she could not attend. And that is something that we have seen recently. We know that she had to be escorted by her son to the memorial service for her late husband. So we have seen that in action. We've seen her using a cane. So it is clear that these mobility issues are causing her problems. On the other hand, though, she has uh, recently recovered from uh, a bout of COVID. We've seen her attending Zoom meetings, for example, very modern woman in good spirits uh, there. But a lot of people will be looking at the fact that she wasn't attending this particular event with, with some concern, wondering perhaps have we seen the last time that she will take on this important constitutional role. That's a very good point. And a lot of people also wondering if they'll make it themselves to be 96 and still be able to walk around. Charlotte Chelson-Pill in London tonight. Charlotte, thank you.